Hello beautiful souls, I hope you all are doing well. I'm Anita Svetlana, welcome to your reading. I'd like to thank each one of you for the love and support that you show towards my channel. So this video is going to be about mystic guidance. It's going to be a reading with tarot and angel guidance, all right? So as usual, we have three groups on your screen. You can see three images. The image to your left is group one. The image to your center is group two. And the image to your right is group 3. So go ahead, think about the guidance that you require and choose an image or a group that you're most drawn to. Please remember that this is a general collective reading. So please uh, pick up messages that you resonate to. Don't forget to like, comment and consider subscribing as well. I mentioned the timestamps in the description. So all you need to do is choose an image or a group that you're drawn to. Go to the description. There's a timestamp mentioned against each group. If you click on the timestamp, that will take you directly to your reading. All right. Welcome, group one. Let's look at your reading. Two of Swords. So you might be in a conflict, you know, they might you are at a crossroad and you don't know what to do and uh, this is a time for you to pause okay and do some reflection and you have to take a, deci a difficult decision and you don't know what to do so and you are in such a deadlock situation that it is impossible for you to find a quick solution so what you need to do is just take a pause and uh, withdraw yourself from the situation for now and uh, you know try to settle the conflict search for a compromise and try to find a balance you know uh, in this co conflict uh, try and see if you can find uh, find a, a you know solution that works for all also uh, you know while you take a pause do some reflection over the situation because that will give you uh, you know a lot of uh, guidance the high priestess so uh, uh, high priestess is all about intuition so do some reflection like i just said you know you need to do some reflection and 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 uh, you know do uh, do s pause Think about your situation. Uh, you will receive the guidance that you're looking for because you hold the key. You you have the key uh, to your happiness. You have the key, the solution to your, your, your challenge that you're going through. You have the solution to the situation that you're going through. Might be you might need to, you know, uh, be quiet for some time. But be patient, be attentive and listen to the guidance of your soul okay you are wise so you know what is it that you need to do and uh, trust your intuition you are going to find the answers to your question by trusting yourself and uh, remember you are uh, you will be led to the right path okay Seven of Wands. Okay. So, uh, you need to defend yourself and you need to defend uh, uh, whatever is yours. You also need to defend your point of view and you need to strong, uh, stand strongly, okay? And, uh, you know, there will be attacks, there will be criticism towards you. But don't doubt yourself and stand firmly, you know, in your power. Stand firmly and defend yourself because you need to overcome all this and you need to overcome your fears also. So be brave and courageous. Uh, also, you know, uh, you need to do... Well, what you need to do is just follow 
your guidance that you your the guidance that you receive and do things as per the books don't lower your standards okay don't lower your standards for anything and uh, remember you know sometimes we say that okay i'll take a quick shortcut and i'll do this for me and i'll get it that's not for you that is not for you you need to rise above all of this you need to rise above all of this and be flexible okay so be 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 flexible about about it okay let's see your last card the chariot very nice okay can i so uh of course the chariot is all about moving forward it's about day and night and you are going to overcome the darkness and uh, you have this bright dawn coming up for you you are going to be successful you are over you are going to overcome your situation and the challenge that you're going through and uh, you're going to be proud about yourself okay it is as if you know you'll take control of the situation you will take control of your destiny and you will be victorious and you will be successful uh you know your luck will is 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 go your luck will change and you will have support uh from your partners and the people who who love you they will be there with you supporting you okay you will also receive a message uh you know you will also receive the right message uh the the message that you require to be successful also uh set your goals high okay and follow your passion you are going to be successful all right let me see if i can move this and place this here okay okay let's look at your other cards <clears throat> all that glitters so you know don't believe everything see it's like all that glitters is not gold so it's time for uh, you know to see people it is time for you to unmask people don't believe everybody and everything so all that glitters is not gold so remember that okay before you take action when you pause to do some reflection observe observe people around you observe who they are observe their you know uh, whether they are the wolves in, in you know in instead of of your friends so observe people try to unmask people okay stay focused on your time don't uh, you know while away your time and trust in divine timing okay uh, let it unfold naturally okay let your destiny unfold naturally and trust in the divine timing chop chop while you're waiting stay humble stay grounded okay chop chop sorry i said chop chop it is chop wood stay 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 humble stay grounded and you know focus on your day to day work so focus on everything that you day, uh, do uh, every day you know focus on your on your daily activity know that your children are protected so you know your uh, family your children are protected so you don't have to worry about them self radiance don't be afraid to fly, uh, fly solo and don't be afraid to you know uh, this is about e when you're right when you come to know that you're right and i said you know you need to stand in your power you need to stand firmly so don't be afraid to stand firmly alone even if 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 you have to be alone if you see this guy standing alone okay against everyone so so stand firmly alone and don't be afraid to to stand alone okay pick your battles wisely so uh, don't get into arguments sometimes you know it's not worth getting into fight and uh, it's it's not worth the argument so be very mindful about uh, you know whom you get into 
a conflict with, with or whom you get into a confrontation with. Go with the flow, let things happen. This is what I was talking about, the divine timing. So go with the flow, let things happen, let things unfold naturally. Okay? So that's all I have for you, uh, group one. I hope you resonated to the reading and the messages. And I will see you next time for your next reading. Thank you. Welcome group two. Let's look at your reading. Five of wand. So five of wands is, um, so you must be having a conflict going on uh, with uh, people around you. Okay, especially at work. Okay, where, uh, you know, there's a difference of opinion. And you, it's, you know, th there is competition going on. And uh, because of competition, there's been conflict, there's rivalry, and you're struggling to, uh, you know, to succeed. And you're struggling for success, actually. And you have this desire to win. And you have the desire to be in authority. Uh, so you need to, uh, actually, you need to try, uh, test your strength and, uh, and you need to trust your strength also. Uh, some of you might have had uh, losses also. And losses and disappointments also. And, uh, you know, don't get into a fight. Sometimes it's not worth the battle. Okay. And uh, you need to let go of self-doubt and self-limiting beliefs that you have. Okay. Seven of Wands. <laughs> so both talk about, you know, conflict and battles. Like I said, you need to choose your battles wisely. And uh, sometimes the battles are not worth it also. So uh, you, it's time for you to be brave. Okay, it's time for you to sta stand firm. Uh, choose your battles wisely. Uh, don't doubt yourself. Stand firmly and defend yourself. Also protect your ideas, okay? Especially if it's a work environment. Uh, don't uh, disclose all your ideas uh, to your co-workers. And, uh, uh, you know, because someone might steal, steal your idea and, you know, there might be a conflict because of that. So place your point of view strongly and... Uh, you know, there might be a criticism, there might be attacks on you, but stand, stand your ground firmly, okay? Be very brave and be, be confident, okay? Trust, trust your knowing and trust your inner power and stand in that confidence. Temperance, wow. So there is going to be harmony. And, you know, all your conflicts will get resolved and there will be harmony. You will be able to work together and co-create. Okay. You will be able to work together and, and co-create. And, uh, you know, uh, there is going to be a lot of, uh, you will, you will finally find the success. Uh, trust in the higher power. Trust in your higher knowing also. And you will be able to mend things. Okay. Uh, be graceful in everything that you do. And go with the flow. Let things unfold naturally. Okay. Ace of Wheels. Ace of Wheels is the Ace of Pentacles in this. And you are going to be rewarded for all of this. So you are going to be rewarded well uh, for, you know, all the efforts that you're putting in. Some of you have a new beginning in uh, a venture and um, you're going to get a lot of material stability in your career and your business as well. There's going to be prosperity and there is uh, success uh, you do want to achieve a lot of things and uh, 
you know, things are going to work in your favor. You know, you are going to be successful. Uh, you are, uh, how do I say? You will, uh, some of you might even get a promotion. Some of you might have a change in your career. Uh, you do want to achieve a lot of things you want to, to achieve even, uh, you know, uh, you want to, you want name, fame and all. And you will be able to do that. You will be successful. Enjoy those little luxuries of life. Okay. And uh, you need to believe in your dream. Okay. You need to believe in your dreams and dream big. Okay. Take that leap of faith. Trust yourself and take that leap of faith and believe in miracles. Be open to receiving miracles and expect a miracle to happen. All right. Let's look at your other cards. Never ending story. So there might be, you know, people in your life who go on with their story again and again, over and over again. Lot of drama. So, you know, don't get involved in other people's drama. That is what even Five of Wands is about. You know, a lot of drama happening around. Stay away from drama. Okay. You don't need to get involved with other people's drama. To be fair, so you know, be fair in all your dealing. Find a balance, okay? Find a balance in your in, in your life and, and be fair, all right? To, to the sea, so take a break, you know? Take a break and, you know, take a vacation or, 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 or go and sit near the sea because sea has a lot of calming energy. And also, it's a reminder for you to go with the flow. Like your temperance card where I mentioned that you need to go with the flow. Observe. You know, before you take any action, you know, observe everyone. Observe everything around you. And then take action. Unicorn, invite serendipity. So... Uh, you are receiving the guidance and the messages. So look around, look for signs. Uh, you know, the angels are guiding you and sending you the, the signs and the messages that you require. There's a lot of uh, strong Taurian en energy that I feel here, you know, in this reading. Potential, think big for your future. And, and that is what I meant by, you know, believe in your dreams and dream big. Don't limit yourself to small dreams and small goals. So think big for your future. Leadership, set your goals and set your goals high. You have the courage to, to you know, set your goals high and, and uh, you know, achieve it all. Cheer up, live in the moment. So you don't need to be sad all the time. You don't need to, you know, because you have conflicts and drama. Don't let that uh, drama pull you down, okay? So cheer up and, and be in the moment. Live in the moment. Be in the year and now, okay? So that's all I have for you, group two. I hope you resonated to the reading and the messages. And I will see you next time for your next reading. Thank you. Welcome group three. Let's look at your reading. Nine of Swords. So you have too much of anxiety. You are overthinking, overanalyzing. You have been having sleepless, uh, sleepless nights. You have this constant anxiety. And uh, you know, you are under a lot of stress, a lot of mental pain lot of doubt, uncertainty, uh, you know, even uncertainty about the future. Uh, actually, you are uh, overthinking. Because of your overthinking and overanalyzing, you, your worry is out of proportion, okay? You are, uh, uh, you have a lot of uh, negative thoughts in your mind, a lot of dark thoughts in your mind. And uh, remember, your thoughts create your reality. So you need to let go of those negative thoughts and those dark thoughts that you have in your mind. You're exaggerating uh, the real problem and you are exaggerating it really out of proportion. Also, 
you need to stop pleasing everybody okay uh, you need to uh, find a balance uh, in in what you do you have i mean it's like no you've been putting in too much of effort you are doing all the work and you are everywhere type and you have a lot of burdens lot of responsibilities and you don't know how to manage them and how to uh, you know juggle them okay so you need to take a pause and you need to breathe okay four of swords four of swords it's all about taking a pause okay so you need to take a pause you need to breathe you might feel that you know uh, you are at uh, you are at a crossroad and you're confused and you don't know what to do but what you need to do is you need to take a pause you need to take rest you need to take a break from all the struggles that you're going through you need to calm yourself down you need to heal yourself first completely okay and you need to recover it's very important for you to recover it's very important for you to gain your strength back again okay and you need to take a break or a vacation and you need to figure out how can you get you know how how can you get rid of all the stressful situation that you are in spend some time in meditation take a break spend some time in 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 meditation and you know reflect about how is it that you can come out of all this situation that you are in you know you need to find that courage within yourself to get out of those situations okay because you know what it's like you have too many situations going on one is not ended and you land yourself in in into the second one the first two have not ended and the third one comes in so you have been constantly under a lot of pressure and a lot of stress death <laughs> don't worry you know that is all about renewal that is all about uh, rebirth and uh, this is see there is a cycle and endings are a new beginnings and you will end this cycle you know death is all about renewal it is all about rebirth it is all about ending your your current uh, you know situation it is all about there's a major significant change that is going to come into your life you are going to have a new start okay a a, a a new life a new beginning okay and you'll be blessed to receive this new beginning it is uh, you know it's it's like a like a gift that the that the universe uh, or the divine is going to bless you with okay and believe in this uh, power of renewal believe in this power of new beginning you need to trust the divine and uh, remember everything you know all endings are new beginnings so you do have a new beginning that is going to come six of sword too much in your mind okay and six of sword is all about moving forward like i said you have a new beginning in 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 your life so you will move forward some of you will even travel okay and uh, you you might travel to a new area some of you might have a change of job and it is going to be an end of a tough cycle for you it's like the light at the end of the tunnel it's going to be your your, your all your clouds are going to move away and you're going to have a clear sky and uh, it's going to be an end of a uncomfortable period Unco it will be end of all your challenges because better days are are coming for you okay and you need to uh, you know you need to adapt to the changes that are co coming in your life like i said you will move forward you will face success and and you will be successful and uh, there will be a change of uh, you know luck that will happen because it will also uh, you know most of your what i get out of this is a very strong messages 
Oh, you have a lot of financial challenges and things will get better. Okay? So believe in 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 the divine trust you know trust the divine trust your intuition as well and look out for the signs that are being shown to you you will be you know shown signs and symbols the universe talks the divine talks to us in signs so so look out for watch out for those signs be be aware and mindful uh, so that you know you 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 watch out for the sign and and open yourself for miracles to happen open your heart and open yourself to receive the miracle to to come into your life and expect a miracle to happen trust me you know your your focus is is money i i get it but you know by overthinking over analyzing it's it's not going to change the situation so so trust the divine and go with the flow surrender and go with the flow okay let's look at your other cards between worlds and this is what i was talking about that you know uh, you are into too many situation uh, before the first situation ends you you get yourself into the second situation and this is what i was talking about you know you are into currently involved in multiple situations not for you so so whatever is happening it is not for you it's it's time for you to get out of that situation okay you might be in that checkmate position or whatever and not be able to move but this is not for you so it's 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 time for you to get out of that situation time to go and it's like i said it's time to get out of the situation it's time to leave your past baggage behind and even when you move forward please leave all your baggage behind and 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 move forward take that leap of faith and and move forward okay truth be told so be honest be honest with yourself it's very important to be honest higher power so trust in the higher power trust in the divine go with the flow let things happen so you need to trust the divine and go with the flow okay let things unfold naturally raise your standard so so you know because you you've been going through a lot you know you might be tempted to lower your standards so don't lower your standards you know raise your standards money find a way to abundance you know have abundant thoughts you know do money affirmations and find a way to resolve your money issues okay and potential think big for your future so don't limit yourself to small dreams so think big uh, for your future you do have the potential you know uh, to create whatever you desire okay so that's all i have for you group 3 i hope you resonated to the reading and the messages and i will see you next time for your next reading thank you